We're going to do a brief video on S&P 500 technical analysis, and we've got a daily chart here of the S&P 500 E-mini futures contract on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. The symbol is ES. We've got a five-day moving average in green, a 20-day in red, and a 200-day moving average in blue. If you can take a look at this, we had a ridiculously interesting week. We made a new bottom yesterday at uh, 3502 for this a new bottom for this particular decline and and uh, was significant. Got a very strong rally out of the gate, but settled down today. Uh, and closed at about 35.97, so gave back almost all of its, uh, really about 50% of its gains from yesterday's bottom. This market obviously still in a bear market. It's been in a strong bear market for a long time, and definitely since uh, August uh, 16th when it bounced off the 200-day moving average, but really all the way back to April of 2022, it's been in a bear market. Now, let's take a really quick look at some different time frames. This is a daily chart. You can see it's below the 200, below the 20 below the five day moving average. So again, confirming it's in a bear market. But if we take a look at the weekly chart, we can see that we made a significant penetration of the 200 week moving average, this blue line 200 week, and that's not good. There's really not a whole lot of support for the S&P 500. We got a little bit of support right here at the 3198, let's call it 3200 level. And uh, if we take a look at the monthly chart, it's a pretty negative looking situation. There's not a whole lot of support on a monthly chart all the way down here to 2174. So you can see this is major support, 2174, not a whole lot of major support in this area. I'm not predicting it's gonna to go to 2174, but it could certainly go to 3200, no problem. This, this um, is your 200 month, this blue. This is your five month and your 20 month moving averages up here and you can see it's below the five month below the 20 month moving average in a very negative bear market for the sp500 let's take a look and see what rbm research says about it we've got algorithmically generated prices we put out every morning before 7 a.m we've got these early release ones for monday morning for you if i can find them and they are for the sp500 around here somewhere right here so this is for the 17th for monday morning we're putting these out friday and you can see one, two, five, ten, and twenty day hold periods. These are trading days. And for Monday morning, we've got buys. Looks like we got a one day hold, thirty five sixty, and thirty five seventy eight for the two day, thirty six fourteen for the five day, and then a little lower, little little lower for the ten and the twenty at thirty five seventy eight. The way these works, if you were to get in at your uh, thirty five sixty, assuming your own analysis said it was a good idea, you'd hold one day and close it out at a loss at the end of the next trading day or take your profits as soon as you got them. Same thing for the two, five, and 10. Same thing, for example, on the 20 day, if you if you got in, a, made a, uh, took a position at 35.78, you'd hold it um, and close out a loss on the end of the 20th trading day or take your profits sooner uh, if you got them. So that's how these work. You can get them all before 7 a.m. Monday through Friday at rbmresearch.com. In addition to this, to the uh, SP500, we cover crude oil, gold, and T-bond futures. We cover 190 plus stocks, the major Forex pairs, and BTC crypto. Have entry prices for all of those every morning before 7 a.m. There's a link in the description below. It takes you to rbmresearch.com. You can sign up over there with your email address. It's all free and no credit card required. Keep in mind, everything that you see in here on here, including our entry prices, is for entertainment purposes only. can only use them for entertainment and, and nothing else. You have to do your own analysis, and you definitely trade at your own risk. If you like these videos, please click the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do that as well. And if you have a great comment, we'd love to hear it from you in the comment section below.